The Food and Agriculture Organization has distributed livestock to 17,500 displaced persons and returnees in some communities in Borno State to boost family income and build resilience. The project targeted Mafa and Jere local government areas of Borno, including northeastern states of Taraba, Yobe, Adamawa, and Borno states. Trust TV's Bitrus Kurutri has more. The displacement of people from their communities as a result of insurgency in the past decade exacerbated the struggle for survival among women, especially at a time of economic downturn in Nigeria. This has over time prompted the need for humanitarian support to cushion the effects of hunger and poverty on vulnerable people. Fatima Umar, an IDP in Alakaramti community, just got 20 live chicks from the Food and Agriculture Organization to start a poultry business that will increase her income and help sustain her family of five. <laughs> We have been in this community for the past 10 years. All those years were really stressful, especially after we escaped the Burma attacks. And now the present economic situation is helping matters for us. These people gave us some beds and taught us how to rear them. I had dreamt of this kind of intervention, but did not know how it was going to come. So we appreciate this gesture. I will be committed to it in order to support my family. She is among 875 households across Jerry and Mafa local governments who were empowered with domestic animals to restore their livelihoods. I appreciate them so much for providing us this support. I was given 20 beds. You know that presently, chicks are very expensive in the market. From what I was given, I am sure that when they reproduce, I will make money. I appreciate the organization for this support. They can buy their old chicks and raise them on their own. Even when they go back to their places of origin, they can continue with the business. And the type of poultry we are giving is called the Noila bats. They are a, 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 a cross from our local poultry and the broiler. So they have both the characteristics of the local chickens that they are hardy and they are resistant to most of the disease. They, they were brought a day old, so we monitored their brooding, their growth, their health until today. All the necessary vaccinations that are required for these birds to actually successfully be kept by the beneficiaries was ensured. It is expected that in the next couple of months, Fatima Umar will heave a sigh of relief as sales from these chicks, when they are matured, begin to trickle in. Petrus Kuruti, Trust TV News, Medugri.